Hello, my name is Dr. Diwan S. Raja. Today I will discuss about Arnold Chiari malformation, also called Chiari malformation. Arnold Chiari malformation is the most common congenital anomaly involving the cerebellum and the posterior cranial fossa. We have two types of Chiari malformation. Chiari type 1 malformation is the milder form. It is milder than that of Chiari type 2 malformation. What are the features of Chiari type 1 malformation? Low lying cerebellar tonsil extending through the foramen magna. Cerebellar tonsils are the ovoid shape component in the lower part of the cerebellar hemisphere. This is a nervous tissue part of the cerebellum part of the cerebellar cortex. Then what happened in type 1 compression of the medulla oblongata, lower cranial nerve due to overcrowding of structure in the foramen magna. What happened? Partial obstruction of the CSF manifested as headache, neck pain, scoliosis that is lateral bending of the vertebral column usually manifested at adult life. Type 1 Chiari type 1 usually manifested in the adult life. Neurosurgical intervention may alleviate the symptom. Okay. So these are the images of the Arnold Chiari malformation. Look at that herniation of the varnish and the tonsil here. And ventricular system is very large because of obstruction here. That's why the ventricular system, not only lateral ventricle, the fourth ventricle, the, the ventricle around inside the brain, again, the lateral ventricle, the third ventricle, fourth ventricle, all the ventricle will be dilated because of excessive accumulation of cerebrospinal fluid. We call it internal hydrocephalus. Okay, so we got that. This is the herniation here. Here is the foramen magnum. Middle oblongata is changing. Cerebellum appearance has been changed also. It is distorted. Okay, the cerebellum will go there. Chiari type 2 malformation. What is that? Posterior cranial fossa is small and distorted midline cerebellum. Herniation of the cerebellar varnish and medulla oblongata through the foramen magnum to the cervical part of the vertebral canal. So, a lot of crowding, a lot of structure. There are now additional structures. So, our passage is going to be overcrowded. So, there will be compression to the nerve. Okay. Distorted midline cerebellum, internal hydrocephalus develops entire ventricular system is dilated often associated with meningocele this is one type of spina bifida when there is a membrane is present that that usually contain fluid containing the nerve roots in the lumbosacral region okay so we got the distorted midline Cerebellum, herniation of cerebellar varnish, medulla oblongata through the from a magnum to the cervical part of the vertebral canal, obstructing the flow of CSF and the roof of the fourth ventricle. If there is obstruction to the CSF flow, there will be hydrocephalus. In the roof of the fourth ventricle, we have one central opening, we call it foramen of Magendai, two opening, we call it foramen of Lushka. Okay. So, what happened? Okay, obstructing the flow of CSF from the floor of the fourth ventricle to the subacronal space. So, there will be hydrocephalus. Distorted midline cerebellum. Internal hydrocephalus developed. Entire ventricular system is dilated. Often associated with meningocele. Myelomeningocele. Tactile anomaly, that is the anomaly of the midbrain, the tactile part, stenosis of the cerebral aqueduct, and shingomyelia. 
what is syringomyelia? Syringomyelia is a cavity inside the central canal of the spinal cord. So, in Arnold Kerry malformation, especially type 2, we have a lot of things happen together. Okay. So, if you look at the picture, this is the syringomyelia here. Okay. This is the syringomyelia. Okay, and that's all about the discussion on the Arnold Chiari malformation type 1, type 2. And type 1 is managed surgically. If you have any question, please feel free to ask me. Please support my channel. Please subscribe me and have a nice day. Bye now.